Hello again. Mm, I'm going to tell you a bit now about uh, functions. So I opened the file I made earlier. Uh, <coughs> Hello.c. So, first of all, what is a function? Function is just a piece of code uh, that does a very specific job. Here, uh, the function is all this thing here, the four lines. You can have another function here. Uh, you can call it, um, uh, no. I will call it show name, like this. And this returns nothing. So void, which uh, stands for, it means emptiness, like when you say the void of space, it means nothing. It's a synonym to nothing. And int here is a number, an integer. So this function here will not return anything, while main here returns zero. So because this doesn't uh, return anything, we don't have to, to type return blah 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 here. So we just uh, want uh, this function to do something. In this case, I just want to print like uh, my, my name, my first name. So just put manus. Um, then maybe I want a second function that prints the la my, my last name. So I will just copy this so I don't have to write everything. So show last name. And then I put my last name, Seferidis, and I save it. So now I have a three function here. And as we said earlier, the main function is the function that runs always first of all. And if we were to run this program, um, you can you can think when you're when you're coding you should think like uh, the computer lean, uh, reads everything line by line, so the computer will start here, going into the main and then reading this, and then it will go here, but here it has a return zero so the program will exit. If we don't want to uh, want it to exit yet, and I want to run this uh, upper function show name and show last name then I have to call these functions which uh, means just to run the functions so to, to call a function you just type uh, the name of the function like this show name uh, parentheses and then I want to show the last name like this parentheses so if I run the function now see what happens uh, there I compile and then I run and there you go hello Manos Eferidis so what happens the program uh, goes to main when we run it so it goes here puts hello it, so it uh, prints this thing then we call show name. So whoop, the the pro the computer jumps here and starts reading what is inside this function, which is just to print manos. And then uh, when it's done, it just we just continue from from where we skipped here, where we jumped. So we go to show last name, and then whoop, we jump again here, put Seferidis and then when we're done from there we go to the next line here in the main again which is a return zero so that's how uh, functions work but um, one question uh, that maybe you have is like uh, why, why, do, why would we need so many functions like here uh, <coughs> truth is that uh, in this case this is like uh, you don't really need so many functions because each function does uh, just uh, it has only one line of code instead you could have like another function here show uh, uh, I don't know show p 
comparisons uh, stuff or something. And then I can just have a function here. <coughs> Show person stuff like that. And then I can have here puts manos puts a ferry this. And then we don't need to call those uh, two two functions because I just moved the things that those functions do, like puts manus and puts a face, I move them here. So if I run just this function, I get the same stuff. So I compile, I run, and you see it's just exactly the same thing. But the the thing is that uh, in real world, when you program, you usually have to do a lot of stuff. So if you just uh, have a big problem, you can just split the problems in smaller problems, and those every small problem can have uh, its own function and here if, if you do this in the real world you can just make a new function that calls the, the smaller functions like here uh, let's see show last name here then show name here so now I'm just calling other functions fr within other functions. So when I run the program, it will go to, to the main here. It will put hello, and then it will run show person stuff. It will call this function. So it goes here because it's being called, and this function will call the show name. So it will run this thing here. It will run puts uh, manos. Then it will come back here. Then it will run this second line, uh, which runs this function here, this line. So it will print uh, my last name. And then when it, when this function here is done, we'll go back here because this is where we called it earlier, the show person stuff. So it will go to return zero. And if we if we run the the whole thing here. You can see it's exactly the same uh, thing happening. Um, so th this is a bit how functions are. Um, something to notice, like uh, that here, that the, the the function has some very specific. Uh, it has a specific way to be written. So you you always put the name of the function here, then what it returns, and what it returns is either some uh, value, it can be a number, it can be a character, it can be many things, or it's nothing, which is a, a void like here. And if you have a void, you don't need to put the return statement here. But if, it, if you have an integer or a character or anything else, you always have to, to have a return. Then the function here has a, the parentheses. And you will uh, see later that here you, you can put uh, like variables, like uh, pieces of data to send to the function. And what is within the, the braces? This, this is called a block, uh, a code block. Because it's, it's just like uh, some lines of code that are uh, together under one function. So that's a bit about uh, how functions are and what they do. See you on the next tutorial.